Metallica rocked on Friday night in Jersey. Wow. Got smack and Metallica at, uh, at that little, uh, little arena down there in uh, Jersey. Unbelievable. That's like the sixth time I've seen Metallica. Where do they play, PNC? Yeah. No, uh, uh, Continental. the Continental. Ah. Continental. Continental. Is that the only arena you'll go to, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's good. Only fly Continental. Sully was absolutely amazing. It's, it might be the best, as far as the best sounding live rock performance I ever saw with Sully. Yeah, yeah he's, he's yeah, just God's amazing. Smack rules. Unbelievable, man. So he's going to yeah. be on our show very, very soon. Him and Godsmack so. and Metallica Rock. Although, uh, I think James Hetfield needs to start drinking again. Is he completely sober these days? Yeah. Because he doesn't Fine. really know how to interact with the crowd anymore. Remember, he used to be like oh, this tough guy on stage. And, yeah. Hey, you mother effers. It's Metallica. You know, now it's like. He seems very detached from the audience. Oh, yeah? Oh, he's just yeah. going out there and doing the uh, songs and that's it? No, I mean, he's uh, talking to them, but it just was kind of weird. Yeah? You know, yeah, I don't, have a, I don't have a really good example. He's just kind of... just like Metallica, uh, hey, Jersey. You guys are fans, and we really appreciate that we're here. Hey. Very just, uh, I don't know. It was weird. Huh, that's odd. It was weird. And then, eh, maybe he was having an off night. And then Lars had to bring his kid up uh, to help him with uh, Seek and Destroy, I think that... When he was playing Seek and Destroy, no his, one wants to see Metallica's little, kids. Well, I, I think the kid what just kind of ran out, ran up on the stage and started, you know, just tapping on one of the drums while uh, Lars is just losing his mind. What Actually, you think? Like that was spontaneous? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't think they let a kid run out when there's explosives all over the place. Well. <laughs> I actually think that was James's kid. Actually, no, really? Was, no, no, it was, no, was Lars's kid. That was Lars's kid. Lars's right. kid. Yeah, both his kids. I think two of his kids. Because there were all kinds of kids running around backstage. It was all a bunch of little. They kids. They all had their families there. Yeah. Wow! But it was a great show, and um, we had really good seats. Yeah. Um, uh, Godsmack's people really hooked us up. But um, I'm sitting in my seats just before Metallica. Well, first of all, we have to leave the city. I guess we should start from the <laughs> beginning. Jesus. We have to leave uh, the city at 5 to get to an 8 o'clock show. I don't know why. It's only uh, literally right across the river here. But it was Friday? Huh? Was it Friday? Dude, I understand traffic, but yeah. I mean, this uh, the reason why we had to leave so early was, you know, this dope over here had to get his stupid celebrity photos done before the concert. Oh, you so you're trying you to get to get his celebrity photos done. I know you. You want to get your celebrity photos done before the concert so you can sit there and, and, and enjoy it. And not, and not obsess, obsess about, and think about right. the pictures for the whole And not obsess about show. who you didn't get backstage yeah. right. for your little collection. I like having a collection. So we go backstage, and um, uh, we went backstage after Godsmack for a while. Is that how it happened? Yeah, because uh, well, Sully actually called me that day and uh, told me he was leaving tickets and passes and stuff like that. So we had, it was me, Ben Ope, and uh, comedian Billy Burr. All four of us went and um, went backstage after Godsmack, yes. Yeah, so uh, he didn't get any photos done before Metallica. None. Yeah, but he had a chance. You kind of could have got Lars. We saw Lars. Now nah, it was like 15 minutes. We go backstage. Sully had left immediately because I think he's with his girlfriend. Yeah, that's, that was really along. good of him considering he invited us backstage because he wanted to say hi to us. So we go back. We do the whole thing. And, oh, no, man, right after the show, Sully, he, he, he bolted. In fairness, he called me the next day. He's like, I'm sorry I took off. He's like, my girlfriend wasn't feeling well. We just, nah, I, I'm just know. busting on I mean, That's cool. But it was just funny that, you know, he, he had no intention of staying. So then uh, we're getting ready for Metallica. We're sitting in our seats, and uh, it was Ben and I in one section, and then um, uh, Billy and uh, and Norton in another section. And all of a sudden, a listener recognizes moi, yeah, and invites me to the Skybox, which is, I mean, perfect, perfect seats, dead center, Skybox, food, beer, you know. So I I call Norton. I go, come Should on, should have up, taken man. some notes, Opie. <laughs> what happened? On how it's done, <laughs> food, oh, oh, beer. I know. Oh yeah. <laughs> So, I go into the skybox and I call Norton. I'm like, dude, we got the perfect setup. Screw, you know, sitting in the crowd. We got this nice skybox. You can sit wherever you want. You can oh, private bed. You know the deal, private bathroom and all that. Sure. Norton is the smart man because he comes in for 30 seconds and goes, no way, and just leaves. No way, and hmm. leaves. And I didn't understand until about uh, five minutes later and realized now I have to be the entertainment in the skybox. Everyone can't believe for some reason that I'm in their skybox oh, watching the talent. Oh, now it's you like, have to per perform. And I have to pretty much tell everyone, trust me, it's no big deal. I'm a bore. I'm an absolute bore. And then you, you get, why aren't you performing? Why aren't you? You're, man, you're real mellow. Well, I'm mellow because I'm trying to watch the band, you know, but they're all excited that I'm in there for some reason. So then taking pictures, autographs, all that stuff, and and I understood why Norton didn't want any part of this thing. I am scrayed. I walked in, the guy threw his arm around me, 
And he's like, hey, tell me a joke. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> goodbye. Hello, goodbye. He was a nice guy, but he had been drinking since, I think, Tuesday. Yeah, they were really cool, but yeah. Yeah, the booze was uh, definitely a factor as well. So, And this is, by the way, how I know I'm becoming an old ass. There's a Dunkin' Donuts in the Meadowlands, and I buy a coffee, and I go into a rock concert with a coffee. And I'm sitting there talking, sipping my cup of coffee. With a cup of joe. Waiting for Godsmack. And I'm like, I really am a finished idiot. When are they coming on? I've got things to do. Holy Christ. A cup of coffee. Did you yell, darn you kids, when they were in your way? Or? Well, people yeah, like, come on, sit down. I'm trying to watch the show. Down in front. I can't hear with all that shouting. Uh, Pete, what's going on? Hey, man, what's going on? Hey. I was, I was at the concert. Oh, man, it's fucking horrible. Where were you sitting, on, Pete? Uh, on the ground. Like, on the ground level, like, right by the stage. And there was just, like, mosh pits going on. The guys were getting, like, sumo tossed, like, over the railing. It was fucking horrible. Unbelievable. But it was the, I, we wish we could have heard uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls, though. They didn't do that one. Man, they did a lot of great stuff, though. Yeah, but, I knew what they were going to do because someone handed me a set list backstage. You know. <laughs> well, I mean, it, you know, it wasn't. Privileged. That was the first Metallica concert I've ever been to. So, I mean, it was fucking awesome. They were great. great. But, uh, All right. I think I'd like it, if I would have had, like, the seats next time, maybe I would have sat, like, in the stands instead of on the ground. But it was good. Right. Well, cool. it's because the show was in the Thank round. You. The stage was in the middle of the arena. But, so then we go backstage at the Metallica because, uh, you know, Jim Norton needs his celebrity photos. Oh, he's crazy with his celebrity photos. The photo. backstage thing is so overrated. It's not even funny. They, they treat you like a piece of S. They put you in a room for like an hour, and they, and you can't move. Or or these guys that are, you know, think they're really important will beat you up basically because yeah. you're because you're going to be a threat to the band. They're just looking to hit somebody they're, they're just, too. They, they really are. They love hitting people. It's very tense backstage. I hate going back there. Nothing comes of it. People love also what they love back doing backstage. The security. They love sectioning off areas that are accessible to some people, but not others. Like you could be backstage. But you can't walk down that hallway to use the bathroom. Oh, my God. You just nailed it. Or you can be backstage, and you're technically backstage, but you can't go to the area that the musicians are backstage. Dude, like, there's little areas, and when you try to cross in, they ask you for your pass. You show them a pass. Yeah. No, not good enough. We were, yeah, but I know that. No. You know you're nailing it, because when you go backstage, the whole time you're trying to upgrade your backstage pass. Right. Because there's sections, like you just said. We started with the blue Metallica backstage pass. We That's ended... a meet-and-greet pass that gets you nothing, right. and then you, you want the all-access. That gets you in with uh, uh, all, the, all the other zeros and just standing mm -hmm. around hoping that the band's going to come in and give you a little little uh, time. Yeah. So then uh, Norton's managers are back there and stuff, and they upgrade us to, to like a green Metallica backstage pass and so now we're we're thinking we're in but that pass didn't get us past the curtain no they have a curtain and that's where the real action is you want the so we were in stage two out of the three. belly of a groupie right pass we, we is were what you want stage right two out, room. Of the, out of the three stages we were almost there so yeah. and uh so we're standing back there and 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 you know guys are getting all pissed off because you're not even standing in the right place it's just awful people think backstage it's great it stinks I love it. it always stinks yeah you love it because you're a freak <laughs> And I'm standing there with my camera, and open Ben want to get out of there immediately. They're dying. And Bill's kind of wants to hang, but he doesn't want to seem like a queer who wants to hang. So he, like, Bill would have left, but he really wanted to hang because Bill's a nerd like I am. These two want to get out of there immediately. Yeah. Hope has got, like, he wants to go home and do something, and Ben's got, I, like, three Colombians with his mewling an eight ball for him. He wants to get back to the city. Everybody's got crap going on. <laughs> And I'm just I'm waiting for my picture. I'm the guy that likes leaving before the encores. Even I'm I'm the guy that wants to be. I'm that guy too. I want to beat the traffic leave, out. If I could leave before the encore, sometimes I am it's out like of there. you know, like they play Seek and Destroy. I I love Seek and Destroy, but is it worth you know being in traffic for an hour when you can leave That's before it. Seek and Destroy and be home in ten minutes? I love when I'm I'm speeding away. I'm speeding and you out. See the, all the, those the cars. Yeah, oh yeah. All those cars. I, I'm great. that guy. But so for yeah. all the people out there, I hope you realize I went to the show this weekend with my grandmother and her friend. Not really, man. I, I think a lot of people can relate. It, you know, Norton's, you know, he is what he is on our show. But backstage, man, it's scary. He's a completely different person. He's like he's like a wimp. He feels like he doesn't belong. Did he get his picture? Uh, yeah, well, no, an hour and a half later, dude. An hour. The show and ended at eleven thirty. We had to walk out with the actual band. Get yeah. out of here. The band is pretty much the last people to leave an arena, right? We're hanging out here. Except the for the road crew. I was gonna say, except for the road crew. But you know what? They pretty much had most of their uh, trucks the packed. Stuff packed up. Dude, they're they're very uh, sufficient now. But they're very sufficient, uh, are they? Uh, efficient. Are efficient. they really efficient? God damn it! 
<laughs> yeah, no, they, they, no, he was right. They are very shut up. Sufficient. So we had to walk out with uh, the band with their kids and their wives, oh. which just takes away from your whole Metallica experience. You see them all being fathers and stuff, and yeah, and and they're running around because because their kids are running around backstage. They're all concerned, chasing them with little toys and stuff. It's like this is oh. Metallica, man. Oh. I um Lars can't even stand up straight anymore. No. His uh, he he looks like the uh, like a question mark. They've been around for uh, quite a while. <laughs> he's leaned over the drum kits a little too many times. He he's his back is so arched down. Really? And he walks around almost like he should be in Lord of the Rings. Little hunchback. Great. Yeah. So, Jim's got his camera and he he gives everyone a class on how the camera works just yep. so whoever's he knows around it's got to be snapped immediately. There's nothing worse than by the way when you're standing with a celebrity and some ass is hitting the button and shuts your camera off and you want to brain them with a rock. If I ever miss a photo cuz someone turns my camera off I'm going to smash him in the gum line with it. <laughs> so yeah, I say here, push the big button. You got to it's all about timing in these situations. Oh, dude, yeah. he's uh, he's so obsessed though. It's scary. I know, I've seen I'm like, him. I'm like Jim, how long are we going to wait? We had to wait an hour and a half just standing up against the wall. There's nothing going on. Let me see he, your Lars picture. Um, I will show it to you. He did get excited. He saw Max Weinberg is back there with like his kids trying to meet Metallica. <laughs> so Jim goes over and bothers Max. Yeah. That was your you first photo. Why not? He's Springsteen's drummer. He's standing right there. What am I going to do? Ah, just two two people. Me, I'm, I'm the third banana on a show. You drum for Springsteen. We're not equals. He's a star. I'm a nobody. They would have mentioned his name in the fucking Times article. <laughs> so I went and got my Jim, picture taken with you Max. You were on Jay Leno. I, I, I kept going That's to Jay. He plays on Conan. But He's I, a band member. But I'm like, you were on Jay Leno. Talk your way back uh, past that stupid black curtain so you, you could get your picture. We could get out of here right, before that, Sunday morning. That would work. Hey, big uh, James Friday, is a personal whatever. guard from New Zealand. I was on <laughs> Leno. Oh, well, excuse me. Let me get James away from his family, and he'll come out and talk to you for a little while. Jay Leno wouldn't have cared that I was on Leno. <laughs> this is Metallica. They're you know a what? rock band. I really think that he wanted to be rejected in the end. No, I didn't. And it would go with his whole mm. persona. Like, Absolutely you know, not. He's trying to get his photo, and he gets rejected, and has analysis. to go home empty-handed. Dude, I want dude, nothing more than my photo. Dude, you were not fun back there at all. Because here's the thing. You were not fun, and, and, and Ben and I are laughing. It's work. It's we're work for Jim. We're laughing at him because he, he has a sweatshirt on, right? And he's got his digital camera. Every two minutes, he takes it out, and he studies it. He's like, okay, okay. No, I on. turn it off right It's on it the right on. setting. Yeah, you're turning it off and on. It's like, okay, okay, it's set. And he puts it back in. You just picture answer. Hinkley doing the same thing with his gun. Right. And before the, he's shot, he's just like, it's, there, it's loaded. It, it's Our freaky. safety's off. So then, Norton, uh, then Ben and I are laughing at him, and he's getting all... Uh, you know, pissed off, like, you, you're going to get me thrown out of here, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, that's the whole thing. You're going to get us thrown out. You guys are psychos. They, they look, look like for pals. people like you. Listen. If I knew how to delete that, I would have just done it. Oh, oh yeah, wow. No, that's that's imagine great. how pissed you would be. Wouldn't have pissed at all. It's already on my computer. Oh, you oh, did? Oh, please. I'm, I'm, I'm Carl <laughs> Copy. As soon as I got this, I, I whatever. So I'm backstage. <laughs> And my, my, actually, yeah. a buddy of mine is actually Lars's assistant. He's a really cool guy. And he's like, yeah, man, I, he's like, put me, because they were going to boot us out. All right, guys, of course if you, they if you were. with James, if you with Lars. So this guy, Steve, gets us into Lars's area. And, um, you know, people, like, there's some loud people back there. Like, one guy goes back to meet Lars. And his friends are going, hey, look, he just leaves us in the hallway. And I'm thinking, that's exactly why there's security here, you fucking dummy. <laughs> you loud idiot. That's why. It's guys like this this regular guy. Hey, what, we can't go back and meet him? No, stupid, you can't. You're an ass and you're loud. So Norn just stands there and, <laughs> and, and, you know, his whole thing is making sure he's not a problem, which I think is making him look like a, a problem. Because no. he looks all, like, creepy. And weird. Yeah. I am creepy and weird. No, but no, I'm no. Quiet, and I'm not. You're a lot problem. different backstage at a concert than you are right here. It was, it was, it was very strange. But it was an eye opener. And then you're getting mad at Ben and I because we're laughing because we think the whole thing is hilarious. It's like, dude, you're gonna get me thrown out of here. I was I'm like, how are we gonna get you thrown out of here because we're laughing? No, because Ben kept saying, ah, right, dude, this is great. We're just kind of standing here in the hallway, dude. This is great. <laughs> so we're in this crowded room and people are starting to leave. Because the, the band's not coming anytime soon. I'm like, yeah. Jim, when do you officially give up on this so we could go home? Never. He never gives up. No. No, I mean, I would. Look, when I went, when I went with Florentine to, uh, to uh, Nassau Coliseum, I, we got James Hetfield. We got backstage. Same thing. Hour and a half later, we got a picture with Hetfield. Yeah, but that mm -hmm. wasn't good enough. He needed the latest photo with him and James Hetfield. No, I didn't get James Hetfield oh, this yeah, time because he was James. walking by. I know, but you wanted it. But I didn't. But he has rules. He's like, oh, he's with his kid, man. No, no, no. no, I can't, no I'm, I, I, I can't do that. You don't I don't do kids. I, I can't do I that. I don't do kids. I don't take pictures with little kids. Little kids. Guys with his kid, you're not going to bother him. Plus, he looks like he's a biker, and he wouldn't have went for it. it if like, I thought he'd put the little tot down and take a photo, I would have bothered him. It looked him like his little tot. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like he wanted the distraction, though, man. 
No. He, he looked like he, he wouldn't have minded. So, so. At, so I finally, Lars finally comes out. Like, Steve introduces me. Steve's like, this guy's a really funny comedian. And so Lars was really cool, man. He, yeah. People say he's aloof, but he was very nice to us. No, and then really Ben nice. sees Lars standing there, and all of a sudden, the bug hits him, and he starts going, all right, dude, that is Lars. He's right there. I mean, I might, and he's trying to justify <laughs> right, the fact right, that he right. was C-blocking this whole thing. He's like, I wouldn't mind a picture with him. I mean, it is Metallica. I never... I never, I never Shut your face. Did you he get a picture so with Lars? I of never, course he did. Oh, no, wait a second. But I never get photos. I only got photo one. I got Rodney once and Jane's addiction. I never give a shit okay, like you that's do what about I'm, photos. I'm, that, that's even I was more like, inconsistent. Well, I've waited for an hour and a half. Hour I might as well get the photo. Dude, it, our, it legs like, getting, right. our legs are getting tired. There's nowhere to sit. You should see the picture. It looks like Lars standing next to Stonehenge with that <laughs> big skull with glasses on it. And Lars... <laughs> And then Billy Burr wants a picture. Of course, everybody wanted a photo at that Why point. not? An hour and a half later. And then it gets better. I make the mistake of telling him I could see Kirk down the hall. So then we got to wait for him. <laughs> no, now. well, Jim Brewer oh, was there. Jim no. Brewer was there. And we're talking for a while. And Dude, we, he walked wherever he wanted. and I Because he's friends with those guys. He goes on vacation I'm, with I'm James. I'm like, work it a little bit. You didn't want to work anything. I didn't. I, I'm, I'm convinced you could have got that picture a lot I earlier didn't than you did. I didn't want to bust Like Steve. I didn't want to ask Steve because everyone's bugging him. So I'm like, just hang back. Be mellow. It'll happen when it's time to happen. I am so glad I didn't go. I, I, know, you I would have it. driven myself anyway. <laughs> That's what Ben said. I would have like, driven myself. We should have taken a page out of Anthony's book and yeah. drove ourselves. I never drive with goes, anybody you anywhere. You hear what he says? Uh, and wait for, wait for it to happen. That's the problem mm -hmm. waiting Dude, for it this to is happen. Metallic. I've been a fan since 86, what 18 we years. To do? We're there, there's not. There's nothing to do back they there. They sent us in a We're there with Lars's dad in the little area having chips and pretzels and water in the little <laughs> in the little area, and uh, and then so we're walking out. Finally, I got the picture with Lars. Hetfield is leaving. They're all leaving, and uh, Jim's like, "You didn't see Kirk." Brewer goes, you didn't see Kirk? I'm like, no, where is he? He goes, he's back there. I'm like, oh, my God, I didn't get to meet him. And Brewer's like, come on, man. And he just grabs me. We run back to where Kirk Hammond is standing there with this one other guy. And I really embarrassed Brewer, I think. Because I'm like, Jim, could you take a picture? And Brewer's like, ugh, because it's his friend. It's like, yeah. You know, so Brewer's like, well, you can ask him. And, of course, Hammond said yes, because I'm like this little blinky-eyed idiot going, could you have a photo with you, Mr. Hammond? You know. And that's why I got my picture with Kirk. I got Lars. I got Kirk. I already got Robert Trujillo at OzFest a couple years. And I got James. And I got all Metallica. I'm happy. There you go. I'm now happy. you got them all. I can put all four of them on so, the wall. So it's what a, does that mean now? It's it an just obsession, makes me, man. It makes me happy. We went to the after party uh, after. Oh, I, you did? Yeah. When the after parties are held after. Absolutely. Very good. Right after. But it was fun. I enjoyed Who it. Who was there? The whole band was there except, except for James. James. Yeah, Lars and uh, Lars came late. But me and Billy went out to eat. We were both starving. And Ben went up sitting at Lars's table. You know, and uh, you did. We yeah. hang him with Lars. Lars is cool. Yeah, like, I was falling asleep. Ben's at Lars's table falling asleep. So, Great honestly. passing out. But wait a second. The funniest thing, too, is Jim trying to justify waiting an hour and a half after the show to Opie. Oh, yeah. pulling out. He's, like, He's like, look, man, if we left after the concert, we would have been stuck in traffic for an hour <laughs> ah, anyway. And blah, 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 Or whatever you said. So we theoretically waited for an hour. No, no. We Theoretically, waited an you left half. before the show even ended. We wait, sure. We waited an hour and a half and did absolutely nothing. I like the backstage area. I've it's, had good luck. I tell you, the I worst. blend the kids right are in. running around. You blend the, right in. There's kids running around. The bodyguards just want to punch somebody. Mm -hmm. It's it's I'm, it's just I'm not. Like, oh fun. no! But I'm here with I'm the guy. I'm I'm, I'm like uh, innocent and stupid looking. Believe yeah. me. I told you when I first met Mike Tyson. I, I this outside of Cafe Wa in New York. I was getting autographs back then. And I'm like, I want to get a, an autograph. And his bodyguards are like, Nah, man. He's not meeting anybody. And I actually said to the bodyguard, But he's the champ. You did not. I said, but he's the champ. Anthony, and my girlfriend, completely the different person when he's doing this. It's it's creepy. What? And they're like, no, nah, Mike ain't. What are you, no little one. Ricky Schroeder? It really was embarrassing. He's the champ. And I actually followed him to his Mercedes and got an autograph, and he was very nice to me. I've met Tyson twice. He's been nice both times. Mm. Makes me happy. I like my little celebrity photos. Just a bit of a hobby. Punches his bitches right in the face. How do you not want a picture with that guy? <laughs> hey, guy that just takes what he wants and plants sure. his fist in people's face. Uh, Smile. Right. Chris from New York. Uh, New York. What's up, Chris? Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Nice to have you guys back. Cool. Hey, listen, a few years back we had um, an Oz, actually it was a Merry Mayhem Ozzy kind of Christmas concert. Was that Rob uh, Zombie and Ozzy? Yeah, that's the one. All right. Go backstage and uh, my friend's like, hey, man, that's Jim Norton from the O&A show. I'm yep. like, get the hell out of here. I look cool. I didn't know what he looked like at the time. He looks like a stalker. He looks like a pedophile at the talent show. He's sitting there like, like by himself, licking his lips. Yeah, you... almost like almost like touching himself. No, it's weird. He he's a different person when it comes uh, to celebrity photos uh, backstage. Yes. Yeah, we want to we want to go over there and like say hello, but we don't want you know we don't want to be like no, we don't want to right, bother right. him. 
All right. But uh, he, he just, you know, like licking his lips. and It was pretty scary, dude. I actually played it cool backstage at that Ozzy thing because I met Jack. This is before the Osbournes was on TV, and I didn't get a picture with him. And I met Mike Piazza, and I didn't get a picture with him because I didn't want to seem like a fan, although I was. So I kind of, I tried to play it cool, and I missed two great pictures like an idiot. All right. Let's say hi to Lori in Wisconsin. Lori. Uh, hi. How are you guys? Pretty good. Thanks for waiting. What's going on?